I don't know how to start. I would say good morning, but it may as well be good afternoon, good night, good whatever. Uh, good day, everyone. And uh, welcome uh, to this uh, first uh, online uh, uh, edition of a Quantum Espresso School. I am thrilled, as I was saying to my colleagues before uh, switching uh, the microphones on, because uh, this is uh, the very first time uh, we go live uh, uh, online. And uh, it's an experiment for everyone. Of course, uh, this gives us uh, the opportunity to reach out uh, to many of you uh, all over the world, but uh, it also leaves uh, some uncertainties. And uh, I, I, beg, uh, uh, I beg you in advance uh, to forgive us uh, if uh, anything uh, uh, does not go as, uh, uh, as smoothly as we wish it will. This is the 25th edition of a long series of schools that started at ICTP in 2001. Since uh, this school has roamed uh, many continents around the world, including Europe, of course, uh, the Americas, both North and uh, Latin America, Asia and Africa. Uh, you guys and girls uh, have been preceded uh, by almost 2,000 uh, previous uh, uh, participants in this uh, series of schools. Uh, this, uh, this time we had uh, an immense uh, and unexpected success. We received uh, uh, 1,300 applications from 92 countries and uh, uh, 123 uh, such applications have been selected. We apologize to all those uh, uh, who had to be excluded. Uh, probably in the future, uh, we will uh, admit more people than uh, just the 100 that we have admitted uh, this, uh, uh, this time, but uh, we wanted to make sure uh, that for this first time we can manage hands-on rooms, uh, hands-on stations uh, in as much uh, a way as possible. Uh, this school <clears throat> should have taken place in person uh, in uh, uh, 2020 in Shanghai. And I wish to thank uh, uh, Professor Ray from uh, Shanghai University for uh, uh, volunteering to host uh, uh, the school last year and uh, Alessandro Stroppa uh, for putting us uh, in contact uh, with, uh, uh, with Ray, with Professor Ray and the University of Shanghai. Unfortunately, as you can imagine, uh, the pandemic uh, uh, prevented us uh, uh, to, to make it last year. And uh, it took us uh, some time uh, to figure out how to proceed. Uh, we, we hoped, uh, we have been hoping uh, for a while uh, uh, to make it in person, but at the end, uh, I have no regrets. I mean, uh, at the end, uh, as, um, as much pain uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the pandemic may have uh, uh, given uh, to all of us, but this, I think, uh, prompting us uh, uh, to try this experiment uh, is uh, one of the few uh, good side effects of the pandemic. So no regrets about that. The last edition of the, uh, of the school was held in person uh, in uh, Ljubljana in uh, 2019, and uh, uh, it was a success. I wish to thank uh, uh, Tony Kockel and his collaborators for uh, hosting us uh, uh, in uh, the Josef Stefan Institute in Ljubljana in 2019, and uh, for uh, the incredible work uh, they made to uh, make uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, virtual edition uh, a success, I'm sure. So there's uh, the school uh, uh, is the result uh, of uh, uh, 
of a long collaboration between uh, CISA and ICTP in uh, many areas of research and education. And uh, it, it is being held under the umbrella of two parent uh, uh, institutions that uh, I would like uh, to acknowledge. Uh, you may wonder what Max means. Uh, Max uh, is uh, a, an European Center of Excellence for Supercomputing Applications that is the main uh, uh, source of funding for uh, uh, the Quantum Espresso project these days. Uh, many distinguished institutions uh, from all over Europe belong to, uh, to Max including CISA, ICTP, the Italian National Council for Research, the uh, EPFL, uh, the uh, School of Technology uh, uh, in, uh, in Lausanne, the ETH, the School of Technology in Zurich, and uh, Forschung Zentrum in Jülich, uh, CEA in France, the Catalan Institute of Nanoscience and Nanotechnology in uh, Catalonia, in uh, Spain, uh, and uh, communication and uh, uh, dissemination uh, is also being taken care of by the uh, Ghent University, uh, CCAM, and uh, the Trusted uh, Service Company. Uh, other, the Quantum Espresso Foundation uh, is the home of uh, the Quantum Espresso project itself. It's uh, an institution uh, that is being uh, uh, supported by uh, CISA, ICTP, the PFL again, the Cineca Supercomputing Center in, uh, in Bologna, uh, the University of uh, 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 Texas at Austin. And shortly, I, I believe, uh, and I strong and I wholeheartedly uh, hope the Joseph Stefan uh, uh, Institute uh, in uh, in uh, <clears throat> in Ljubljana. I would like uh, to cut the long story short and uh, proceed uh, <clears throat> with uh, the acknowledgement uh, of the many people and institutions uh, which have made. Uh, uh, this event possible and uh, his preparation incredibly smooth. I'm really grateful uh, uh, to the local organizers, <coughs> the two events, Ivans, uh, Ivan uh, uh, Girotto from uh, the ICTP and uh, Ivan Carnimeo uh, from CISA, whose uh, energy and uh, constructiveness has been really instrumental for the success of the preparation. Uh, the efficacy of uh, uh, the ICTP staff, both uh, administrative and technical, uh, has been uh, beyond imagination as usual. And I would like uh, uh, to present uh, my own uh, personal thanks and uh, the thanks of all the organizing committee to Adriana Pinto and Massimo Mafione, who is assisting us uh, in this very moment. Uh, hardware resources have been uh, proposed, uh, have been uh, provided uh, by a range uh, of different uh, public uh, and, uh, and uh, private bodies, and uh, our thanks uh, goes uh, to all of them uh, as well. I wish uh, I won't uh, uh, forget uh, any of uh, these important uh, sponsoring components, which include uh, uh, several uh, uh, computing centers. Chineca, Arnes, that's an organization for uh, research in, uh, uh, in, uh, in Slovenia. The HZW uh, company in the Far East, uh, in the Shanghai uh, area, uh, ICTP and CISA are providing uh, their uh, computational support uh, as well. I'm sure I have uh, uh, forgotten uh, uh, some important thing and apologize in advance uh, to anybody or any institution that uh, I, I may have forgotten to thank my uh, heart, wholehearted uh, uh, 
thanks uh, goes uh, to those of whom uh, I have uh, forgotten as well. So I wish all of you uh, to learn uh, as much as you can teach and uh, to enjoy this school uh, as much uh, as uh, we will enjoy it. Thank you for uh, very much for being with us uh, and uh, I leave the stage uh, uh, to Ralph the Bauer. Okay, thank you very much, Stefano. I hope that everyone can hear me. So uh, welcome uh, also from my side. My name is Ralf Gebauer. I'm from uh, ICTP. And before starting, I should say that uh, it's obviously a big pleasure and also a big honor to be the first speaker in this long two weeks uh, event. And I should also say this should really not be my place now to speak because uh, everyone who knows something about quantum espresso and about the community behind it immediately knows that one of the pillars of everything which we'll be hearing about in these two weeks is Paolo Gianozzi. And uh, so it was planned in the original program that this first talk would be given by Paolo. And uh, so by all means, he should be the first speaker and, in, and introduce everyone to, to Quantum Espresso, which he is very much uh, under the, the pillars of it, as I just said. Okay, so um, Paolo cannot come today. You will all meet him tomorrow when he will give a talk. So uh, it's just uh, one day later. And uh, I will now try to share my screen in order to 